your coursework and summer experience will lead you to aviation. You can fly a variety of aircraft, all the way from helicopters and shore based patrol planes to supersonic aircraft carrier based jets. Your academy of military training and physical challenge can lead you toward the Marines. Where you may command infantry, armor, artillery, aviation units, and much more as a Marine Corps officer. Finally, the one the Academy exposes you to, you can be ready for possible selection as a Special Warfare Officer or Navy SEAL. One thing is for sure, you'll be leading the most talented and highly motivated sailors and Marines in the world, no matter what the you can do. And don't forget this, Naval Academy graduates can take advantage of almost endless opportunities for future development. Upon graduation through various scholarships, there can be postgraduate work at some of the best universities in the world, including Oxford, Cambridge. A selected few may even be chosen as Rhodes Scholars. Then, after experiencing the fleet, there are opportunities at service schools, like the Naval War College and Naval Postgraduate School. All of this is to help us, as the mission says, to be able to assume the highest responsibilities of command. And command is the expected role for a Naval Academy graduate.
There's a fitness test with pull-ups, sit-ups, push-ups, um, running back and forth like a suicide run, and a one-mile time run. Uh, they also screen you medically, and you have to obtain a nomination from either a congressman, senator, or vice president. All that says is they say, I support this person to go, but they only have a certain number of nominations, so they have their own requirements and selection process for that. So you have to apply to both the academy and a nomination source. If you get accepted, the first day is called I-Day, Induction Day, and that marks the start of Fleet Summer. Fleet is the same as a freshman. Um, it lasts from 0530 to 10 o'clock at night. Um, start out with physical fitness and throughout the rest of the day, you might run obstacle courses, you might do drill with you know, rifles, marching. There's weapon qualifications with M16, M9, pistol. Uh, you can go sailing, as you probably saw in the video. They have speakers, they have admirals, they have senators, uh, distinguished people coming and talk. And there's also an Orioles game at the end of the summer. Oops, the academic year, um, classes, everything from chemistry, calculus, um, government, leadership, uh, seamanship, navigation. Those kinds of classes are unique to the Naval Academy. Um, and then you have to go and do the regular classes as well. So you get, get, get a pretty full plate. Um, with that first year, not only do you have classes, but you have things called chow calls, where you have to memorize the menu and recite it. You have to yell it out um, so many minutes before it's actually time to go down and eat. And it's called grades, which is grades are just knowledge that you should know. An upper classman can come up and ask you. If you don't know, you get punished. You might have to uh, walk down or run down the, the, the hallway only in one direction. You might have to keep your doors open. There are silly things like that that kind of um, are a minor inconvenience. There's Saturday morning trainings. So it can range from anywhere from just PT sessions, to having speakers, uh, going out, playing on these YP boats. You're almost a small ship. Um, but at the end of the fleet year, there's a few events. One of those is sea trials. Sea trials is kind of the culminating event. So the, the event is supposed to bring everybody together. It's basically going out. Um, if you've ever seen, maybe on the Discovery Channel, like the seals on the beach, um, the water picking up, there's some of that. There's running the obstacle courses, um, there's swimming, pretty much lots of physical stuff to try to tire you out. And then after that, there's a ceremony called Herndon. And you can see the Herndon monument right here. Um, what they do is go grease it up in uh, lard or whatever. And they have a, one of those Dixie cup covers. They're just round, kind of look um, somewhat silly. And you have to, as a class, so there's about 1,100 people out there. You have to climb up to the top of this monument and take that hat off the top and replace it with one of these hats down here. Um, and it takes hours sometimes. Football games are another part of academy life. Everybody must attend every home game. Um, they're pretty fun, actually. The Army Navy game's the best, though. Probably saw it on television before. Um, this year, President Bush is supposed to come. It's going to be held on December 6th. They have people come in and parachute, shoot off guns. It's really exciting. Um, like I said before, there's summer training. Um, two thirds of the summer is devoted to training, and then you can get one one third of the summer off so you can come home. Uh, summer training can be anywhere from surface cruises to going on the ships. If you can try imagine when you think about the Navy, going on submarines. Um, if you go up, there's aviation cruises. So you can fly in airplanes. There's also um, summer training called Crooks from it, in which you spend one week on a ship, one week on a sub, one week with the Marines, and one week with aviation. And there's also SEAL cruises and Special Operations cruises. Those are more selective, though. All right, before I go into questions and comments, I just have a few pictures and videos to show. Saturday morning training, this is one of those trains. We went over to Arlington National Cemetery. This is the Iwo Jima Monument. Um, this hill, this piece of land needs to be owned by General Lee from the Civil War, and it overlooks Washington, D.C. Excellent view. 
before people graduate in the spring, they have the week leading up to it called commissioning week. And they have the Blue Angels, which are the Navy's, um, I guess, stunt, stunt team, whatever you want to call them. They fly airplanes, do all kinds of neat tricks. There's a picture from that. There's another picture from the Blue Angels. And while they can build up planes and vehicles and uh, new technology come down, we can go visit it. This is the Osprey. It's a combination between a helicopter and an airplane. The Marines use these. Uh, they've been around a while, but uh, they're improving them. They used to crash all the time. Uh, here's complete summer, first summer there. This is obstacle course, obviously people climbing rope. This is part of the drill. Um, this is our pool, Lejeune Hall. It's an Olympic sized pool, it's 50 meters long, 25 meters wide. It's huge. Um, you have to keep everything nice and neat. As you can see, the towels have to be folded a certain way, clothes have to be arranged, dark is at the left, light is at the right. Shoes, same way, dark is at the bottom, light is up top. Uh, right here, you can see my desk, books are arranged, tall is at the left, uh, short is at the right. That computer, everything, if I didn't mention it, um, is paid for the academy. Computer, food, um, staying in there, classes, everything. It was a pretty good deal. But um, only disadvantage is if you fell out whenever you're um, a junior or senior, or if you get kicked out for something, you have to pay that back. And it can be upwards of $300,000. So uh, want to make sure you stay in and do well. This picture is from my summer cruise. That's an F-18, and I'm in something called the bubble. That's on an aircraft carrier. This is called the bubble. Um, it's just above the flight deck. This is the flight deck right here, just the head stick out. Here's a cargo plane called C-2. They bring on mail and passengers. This is an SH-60 Bravo helicopter. They're used for uh, combat search and rescue, submarine warfare, um, taking equipment from one ship, moving it to the other. There's another picture of one. Here's a picture. You can see the steam from the catapult after they launched the plane off the aircraft carrier. It's a picture of a couple pilots. Picture of an F-18 landing. Picture of me in front of an F-18. Here's a picture of me whenever I was on the flight deck, um, seeing the airplanes take off. Whenever you're underway, whenever you're out to sea far, you're not to let you shoot guns off the side of the boat. Um, whenever we were still in port, so whenever we weren't at sea, um, I was in Norfolk, there's an air station there. We went over the one day I got to fly an F-18 simulator. It's like the world's greatest video game. It's an actual F-18 that you get in and everything around you looks like real world. So it looks like uh, the sea, the sky, you see an aircraft carry out and I got to land it. Everything, it's an actual cockpit. It's really, really neat. Um, here's one of those helicopters taking off equipment from our ship, moving it on to the other one. I actually got to command the carrier that day. Uh, got to tell people what course to steer and what speed to go. It's kind of neat. And this is where the officers eat on board an aircraft carrier. It's called the wardroom. Pretty nice. Uh, during SMT, we have fugal sticks. And you probably saw these before on TV, perhaps. Almost look like um, <coughs> toothpicks with marshmallows on them, and you get to hit each other with them. And here's me on one of those YP boats. I have a few videos to show you. This is from my son. taking off. It takes two seconds from whenever they start the catapult to when it gets in the air. That's a real good view. That's from the day that I was on the flight deck. Side, not many other colleges 
boats and get to see aircraft like that. This is taken from inside that bubble that I talked about before, just below the flight deck. Here we go, shooting a big gun to 50 caliber. <laughs> 